Turn on the gas, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friend. There you are. Here I am to teach, create, and explain again. Yeah, I know. But when you've sung it 10 times and you've screwed up 15 times with it, you just sort of <laughs> don't have enthusiasm like you should sometimes. Okay. I have done it several times today. And for some dumb reason, every time that I've done it, I made an I made a um, video on making this pig. I made a video on making some I Millie, and you can see that real quick. It has just a little crescent moon inside. I did it just do it once. I did it twice. I did it three times. One green, one blue, and one dark blue. Turbo Cobalt Blue. Anyway, I'm going to do it one more time. Turns out every time I've done it, for some reason, you could not hear um, due to just the wind blowing from my fan. I'm going to put up with the heat. I put a towel around my neck, and I'm just going to go with it, right? Go with it. I guess I'll do a jade green eye again. Since I have some jade green sitting here. And some white to work with. I could do a yellow eye, I guess, but no. I have some white to work with. So, without further ado, let's try this again. Or is it again, again? Again. Anyway, first thing, actually, I'm just going to use uh, this one. This will do. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're making a very small eye, and this is a crescent moon eye. And now that I'm trying to do this, you think I can. Oh, there we go. We lit the flame. And I'm going to do this for some reason without this. For some, that might be a little bit of my problem too. Okay. Okay. First, we're going to build up a little bit for the eye. It doesn't have to be a lot. I'm probably thinking close to an, a little more than a dime size wide. And a little more than a half inch to an inch. I don't need more, probably three quarters of an inch, and that'll be pushing it, okay? But what you do is you basically round in enough of what you want to get the job done. Yeah, technical fugility day, but you'll learn with me. I might be complaining a little bit. I might be, uh, but I don't give up. I continue to do what I need to do until I've got the job done. That you can hear me and that the work is in the can and up on YouTube. Also, I've had a little bit of a problem um, Zach Pac-Man I've been trying to reply to your little comments but for some dumb reason I'm not able to I replied to one of them and I haven't been able to reply to any more I don't know why uh, and I try to reply even in those to, just to say general broad statement in that on that that page and I couldn't do it either and I didn't understand the principle of that but anyway okay about the thickness maybe a little less I doesn't have to be a lot okay 
most people, when they think of Millie, you got to do a whole bunch ahead of time and get it all done and ready to go and then stretch it and stretch it and stretch it. And you got rows and rows and rows of this Millie. But in this case, you don't really have to have that much Millie. I mean, for as what you're doing and how much you're stretching out into an eye, this should be plenty to do maybe about 20 to 40 eyes, depending upon how thin you stretch it, okay? Doesn't look like much, but you forget that this is stretching out thin and you're only nipping off a little bit at a time. And it's also going to have, um, this might work. Why didn't I think of that? It's also going to have um, um, white glass around it to give it even more, more volume. Okay? Okay. First you make the crescent moon, right? You knew that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you arguing with me about it. I'll press some more of this in. If you're stuck in a location where it's very hot and uh, can't put a fan on you because you need to keep the fan quiet, but you need to keep cool. I suggest a wet towel around your neck. I call it a redneck air conditioner. That's quite nicely. Anyway. <laughs> now, I'm going to encase this with white. And the white is going to go all the way around it. Around it, maybe even twice, depending upon how I feel at the time, and how much white I want to put on it, right? Right. Put that round in. That's because my fingers don't need to be burned off, okay? Here we go. Higher. Thick, all the way around, just like you, I do when I encase with clear, but I this time it's with white. Doesn't look like much, but it will make you a nice crescent moon eye. When it's all said and done, I'll, I'll put it on a little head real quick of like blue or something so that you can see it in the background. And yeah, I'm going to go around one more time with this white. One time would be okay. But if you have the extra white and you want a nice big round eye around all that green. And how to explain. Second time, let's go. Round it in a little bit. layer of white all the way around.
There we go. Now, now, looking pretty good actually. I'm going to um, put this one to a Now start narrowing down. And it narrows down, it should make a nice long thin string. And that is going to be your Millie for your eyes. Okay. The thinner you make, oh yeah, this is going to be tons and tons of eyes. Probably 60, 80, 100, I don't know. Surprisingly. Let that pull off. Pump it off, dang it. There we go. Continue. Now there's another trick I'm going to do with these two, and probably the last strand, but I'll do it with all of them eventually. If you put a different color, or even a green, uh, jade green bulb on the top, so that you can say, oh yeah, that's not the color white, but actually, oh yeah, my eye millie. There we are. Made lots of progress. And I made lots of Millie too, so now I've got plenty of dots for my eyes. Let's just put it that way. And again, what I'm going to do is right here at the very top, I'm going to take some jade green and dot it. Like so. So that as it's sticking out of a, a stand of stuff, I put M1 in it right about there. Oh, of course, it came off there too. But okay. Just put the jade on top, so it's a jade eye. Anyway. to distinguish from the other pieces of white stranded glass. I did that with some other colors, but it was red that I put on the end so that I would know that these are I Millie, but I couldn't tell you what color they are. Okay. Yeah. Ah, now, let it cool slightly. That's what I'll do. Cool enough. And nip it here. And as you can see, there's a nice little bit of a green in the middle. And on this side, <laughs> but what you don't understand is let's put it on a. Here's, here's one that I did earlier, the eye Millie, and you can see that the nice crescent moon came out on both sides. Pretty. Nice eye. Matter of fact, let's do that just on the white so it will come out so you'll see it a little better. Well, not really, but you'll at least see the crescent of the green. But the idea with the eye, Millie, is now that you have it, you could dab a little bit of white into the area that you want the eye, and then come back 
heat up that area again and melt those together well. Don't just tack it on. Melt it together well and then let it cool a little bit and bend it back and forth and it should snap just a little above. And there's one green eye. Let it cool just a little bit and it's back and forth and it snaps off. Okay, give you an idea. Yeah, my, my de demo is not perfect, but it's there. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.